Opening statements begin tomorrow in the federal civil rights trial of three former Minneapolis police officers. It is the first time that we'll hear state prosecutors and each of the ex-officers lawyers make their case. Our Maury Glover has more on what we can expect to see. Former Minneapolis police officers Thomas Lane, Alexander King, and Tu Tao each face federal charges of using their positions as police officers to deprive George Floyd of his civil rights outside Cup Foods on Memorial Day in 2020. Prosecutors with the U.S. Attorney's Office are expected to take a total of 30 to 40 minutes to present their opening statement, while attorneys for each of the officers are expected to use similar lengths of time for their opening statements. My expectations are there will be a combination of argument and also it'll be using videos to start telling the showing the jury what it is we're going to show that each of these officers did wrong in depriving George Floyd of his rights. Attorney Mike Bryant, who isn't associated with the trial, says prosecutors will likely point out the officers didn't intervene when Derek Chauvin had his knee on Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes. That the crowd voiced their concerns over Floyd's well-being, but the officers ignored them, and that the police report the officers filled out didn't reflect what was actually seen in the videos. Bryant says the defense attorneys will try to humanize the officers in their opening statements, but one size may not fit all when it comes to their strategies. They all have different levels of involvement. Um, you've got different levels of experience. You've got different levels of what they did. Um, so there's a possibility that you may see one or two of them arguing in a different manner than the third. Once opening statements wrap up, witness testimony is expected to begin sometime Monday afternoon, with the trial expected to last two weeks. And that was our Maury Glover reporting. There are no cameras in the courtroom. However, Fox 9 will be following the entire trial and will provide updates on air and online.